good evening to my beautiful um, fans and uh, followers um, I trust you had a great day today all right so uh, quick, uh, quickly we shall be discussing vaginal candidiasis today okay so vaginal candidiasis is a fungal infection you know caused by um, a, a polymorphic uh, opportunistic fungus known as uh, candida albicans all right and you know um, candida albicans is a natural inhabitant of the vagina so uh, you know vaginal candidiasis occurs um, when the fungi you know superficially penetrate the mucosal lining of the vagina and as it were initiating an inflammatory response and the dominant inflammatory uh, cells uh, we are talking about here are the polymorphonuclear cells and ma macrophages by polymorphonuclear cells we mean the neutrophils the eosinophils and the basophils while uh, by macrophages uh, we mean the scavenger cells that is the monocytes okay uh, now this inflammatory response you know actually results to the symptoms associated with a vaginal candidiasis okay so um uh, how does this come to be you know what is the pathophysiology you know um like uh, other normal microbiota that is other normal flora candida albicans is normally present in the mouth okay in the gut and in the vagina so they are natural inhabitants of the mouth the gut and the vagina now the vagina is normally colonized by candida albicans all right and the growth of this candida albicans is kept in shake okay by a bacteria by a vaginal bacteria known as lactobacillus acidophilus and then this bacterium is uh, uh, actually responsible for the maintenance of the normal acidic ph of the vagina you know the vagina is an acidic environment it has a ph of about 3.5 to you know 4.5 4.6 or thereabout okay now these two organisms i mean candida albicans and the um, lactobacillus acidophilus you know uh, they exist in a balance they exist in a balance lactobacillus acidophilus keeps the growth of uh, candida albicans in shake so that it doesn't you know uh, uh, multiply and proliferate causing pathology Okay, but if there is anything that will a kind of um, uh, 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 that will distort, that will distort the balance, that will distort the balance, you know, uh, 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 um, as can occur in the intake of uh, broad spectrum antibiotics, okay, it will distort this balance, you know, and uh, this imbalance can also uh, uh be caused by um hormonal fluctuations especially the high levels of uh, estradiol um in pregnancy and the, in those that take oral contraceptive pills you know this imbalance can also be caused by um uh, uh, hyperglycemia as seen in patients with uh, diabetes mellitus so when this imbalance is distorted, okay, when it is distorted, take for instance the intake of a broad spectrum antibiotics, which kills this lactobacillus acidophilus, then it allows, it gives um, um, candida albicans uh, the grounds to now multiply and proliferate, causing pathology. Okay, so um, the signs and symptoms of this um, of a vaginal uh, candidiasis 
as we said earlier, as I discussed earlier, uh, the inflammatory response secondary to the superficial penetration of the mucosal lining of the vagina results in um, uh, what do you call it? A copious, thick, whitish discharge and then vaginal irritation. Vaginal irritation, that is the itching of the vagina, you know, um, vulval edema, that is the swelling of the vulva. Uh, and then excoriations, that is the wearing off of the skin, uh, often leading to erythema. Okay, and then you have dysuria, that is painful urination, and then um, you have um, um, itching and burning sensation. You know, you have itching, this kind of this kind of itching that you, when you see when you when you find those having this, it's it issues you and you scratch and even get to a point where you uh, injure yourself. In the process of this crushing and you still keep on injuring yourself that's what we are talking about and then there's what you call dyspareunia dyspareunia that is painful sexual intercourse these are the various signs and symptoms of um, uh, vaginal candesis however however these signs and symptoms uh, vary you know they vary from person to person okay so um uh, um, vaginal candidiasis um, can present with serious symptoms, especially in uh, persons with the immunocompromise. Okay, uh, persons uh, as an immunocompromised persons, like and as found in HIV, in cancer, and all of those. You know, um, wherefore the infection now spreads into the bloodstream causing a potentially um, life-threatening condition known as a invasive candidiasis. You know, um, like other um, fungi, like other fungi, uh, like um, uh, uh, cryptococcus neoformans, which causes invasive cryptococcus. And then um, we have also the, we have also um, histoplasma capsulatum, which causes um, invasive histoplasmosis, and then um, um, Aspergillus formigatus, which can cause an um, invasive aspergillosis.